It was the night before Christmas. I was closing down for business. In my Hello. Sorry about the funny shadow here. It's because there's a window over there. I'm about to start putting up some of our decorations. One of the first things that needs to go up is the um, the nativity scene because then I'll have space for the things I need to pack away in the trunk. Just unearthed this, which is a really sweet stitched cushion cover from my friend Leone. Isn't it lovely? I don't know about you, but I forget what I've got from year to year. Oh dear, this is a bit of a tangle. Put a tree. Toby's Christmas sack. No bunny. Toby. Stop it. You're in trouble because you stole food, didn't you? Right back. My friend Laura made that. We made this one. A little bit of, um, I think that's peony and sage on the back. It might be cabbages. Oh, I love this. It just makes funny noise as it goes around. Sorry about all the noise. Sorry about all the noise. The dogs are jumping about. The husband's in and out. Bill's in and out. I've got wet hair, look. Oh, good Lord. What's in here? No, oh, I don't think I'll put these out. I might get rid of these. I made these a while ago. I've gone off them. Oh, Jules gave me that and that. Let's take one of the photos down. Look at little baby Bill. That was when he was less than a day old. Toby and I. Early on, that was. Oh, wedding day. <laughs> oh dear, this is all falling to bits, but look at Bill with all of his lovely hair. I think that was, that was honeymoon. <laughs> that was early on. Might change that photo for a different one. Look how overplucked my eyebrows were. Oh, so young. Here we go. Oh, I've forgotten to put the tree that fell over back up. Here we are. So we've got the stable. And we've got the shepherds and their little sheep, their flock by night. And then over here we've got the We Three Kings from Rory and Tar. One in a taxi, one in a car. One on a scooter, beeping a scooter. <laughs> There's their little man what does and their camels. And look, they've come from a very nice city. And um, all we're missing now is we need Mary to give birth. Come on, Mary. You can do it. Push. Oh, well done. Little baby Jesus. And there's Joseph. And they're all looking at the little baby Jesus. Right, let's turn the light on. Lights on. Hang on, see if I can hold that still. Ta-da! Whoops, nearly fell over. Isn't that lovely? Well done, Mary. Hope you're not too sore. Can't have been nice laying on a bed of straw. And we have a donkey, that's their donkey they got there on. And we've got an ox, because the cattle are lowing. The baby awakes, the little Lord Jesus. <laughs> There's a little sheep. 
There he is, not his eyes. He's come to have a sniff. There we go. So, Granny bought us this the first Christmas we were married. I love it. Good morning, Phil. Nice. You have to find Christmas Jeff. The other two have found him. Yeah. You need to find him. I'll tell you if you get hotter or colder. So Ooh, walk, kitchen, walk that wait, way. Wait, hotter, hotter, really hotter, 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 hotter. Oh, colder, colder. Don't care. Phil, where would you go if you wanted to get something cold? Uh, the fridge. Go and have a look in the fridge. What have is in here? <laughs> okay, guys. Phil, did you raise one eyebrow? Grab your can. Grab your can, Bill. Do you want to play? Silly string war. Bill, do you want us to help you shake it? Uh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Not each other's eyes. I wanted to defend myself, thank you very much. Yeah, this is quite nice. Do you want me to help? Mm. Get back for a grenade. <laughs> what about this morning? I'm pinned. Uh, don't spray yourself, Bill. I've got a shield. Ah! <laughs> I've got a shield. Um, <laughs> yesterday we put the tree up and um, the kids decorated it mostly the majority of it i'll do a little tour of all the bits and pieces on there in a mo um but first i'll show you a few little bits and bobs you might be interested in my lovely friend liv um made these for me one year and she did tell me the pattern but I can't remember where it was from. I want to say it's Susan B. Anderson but I'm not sure. Anyway they're gonna go on the tree. I've had those for eight years now or something. I love them. I love them. And then in this treasure box, literally treasure, um, this was made by my friend Fee, who is Chippanelli on Instagram. If you like colour and witty sense of humour, give her a follow. She's lush. I know I'm colour scared, but I can appreciate it elsewhere. I've got these glass hand-painted baubles. I've got a few of those. Granny bought me a few several years running. 
little bird. Two of those I've got. So they're special. Um, what else have we got in here? Mini snow globe. How gorgeous is that? There's all our Christmas mugs and jugs. So they need to, I need to have a mug shuffle, as Jules calls it. And I've got a little clay wilf. I didn't make these. I bought these before I um, knew how to, before I went to pottery school. Teddy. Beow! I love how his name looks. Oh look, it's got an iridescent sort of glazed sheen. It's beautiful. Um, these were just, oh, need a polish. Housey sort of decoration things from Laura Ashley years ago, but they go on a tree so they look lovely. Little Bill Drummer Bear. Doobie, because you know, we are a family. Oh, there's another one of those. That's from an old chandelier. Isn't that lovely? A little bird. It's funny because my nickname is Cuckoo. Everybody buys me bird related things. You'll see the tree, it's just covered in bird related stuff. I've not bought any of it myself. Another one of those. That makes the set. Oh, another beauty from Granny. That's lovely when you when you hang that by a light. What's that doing in there? That's not a precious one. I've got loads of those. They're from Highgrove, which is where it's Prince Charles' residence in Tetbury. Um, we used to get an invitation to go Christmas shopping in the Highgrove shop in Highgrove. But nowadays you, you don't get invited. You just book a slot, I believe. So um, I, I'm really rubbish at making plans. I'm good. If I get invited to something, I'll um, accept the invitation, write it in my diary and we'll go along. But unless we get invited, we just... We're just such simple people, really happy to just pootle along at home. I think because we've got lots to do here and plenty of space, we sort of don't get the cabin fever and the urge to go out. <laughs> just stay at home. Super lazy. Oh, here's another precious. Here's another precious. Look at that. Beautiful angel. That's another one from Granny. She might be one of my absolute favourites. I'm going to say that a lot as I show you around the Christmas tree. I'll be telling you everything's an absolute favourite. Let's show you around the tree. Hey, Mugs. Shall we show them around the tree? My boys aren't particularly crafty, so I don't have very many crafty things that they've made. Um, but I love this one. That's Wilf's hand. And then there's this little teddy bear. Most of the things the boys will have made, I think you made that one actually at preschool, um, never survived the journey home because they just used to stuff them in their bag and I'd get them. When they got home, I'd find them and that would be it, ruined. My first Christmas 2008, that was Teddy's. Oh, this is a... Um, little fairy angel that Toby's aunt gave me years and years ago and I love her she always goes on the tree and then see look loads of little bird housey things I mean they're everywhere look it's not that I don't like them obviously I love them they wouldn't go on the tree otherwise but yeah I just seem to get given a lot of birds yeah loads of these these are all from Highgrove. 
Oh, they're so pretty though. Love little bells. Do you believe? And what Christmas tree doesn't love a mushroom? Who else have we got? Oh, Bill popped this one up. He loved that. He was like, what is it? Mum, what is this? Oh, I said, it's, it's a fairy. And he went, no, I, I think it's a dragonfly. <laughs> so cute. What else have we got around here? My first Christmas, this was in Wilfred's one. I've got a snowflake somewhere that's Bill's one. I don't know where it is. I haven't unearthed it just yet. I remember my lovely friend Turnip gave me that and a couple of other bits she gave me as well. Oh, that one there. And there's a gingerbread man somewhere. Where are you? Oh, I think she gave me that as well. Oh, here we go. He <laughs> love it. Um, and oh, this one here. I've had this a long time. Jackie, bunny mummy. You'll find her on Instagram. She used to have a blog. She probably still does. Um, I think she published this pattern for a little owl. Um, she made that and sent that to me when, with a lovely card actually. When Wilf must have been about seven months old and I got hit I, I just fell down with crippling postnatal depression all of a sudden and um I, I talked about it on my blog that I used to have yeah she sent me that how lovely it really did cheer me up and that's a knitted high grove angel I think she's had a tracheotomy. And then this one's a special one to me. Um, used to have an Instagram friend called Leanne. She's obviously lovely. And um, she used to make beautiful homewares, cushions. Um, and I bought a load of cake form and cushions from her. And one year it was near Christmas. And she used to do these charity boxes and sell them. And... Um, when I ordered some cushions, she sent one of the sent me this dove, and it used to smell absolutely lovely. Anyway, I love that because um, bless her, she developed cancer, and I think it was just over a year, and it took a took a from us. And then this one is special. Sandy, do you remember him? Sandy's my lovely friend, my blogging friend from gosh, eleven years ago. I think we first met. And um, she's in Australia, so we haven't actually met. And she sent me a big box of Christmassy bits for me and the boys, and it was heaven. And uh, he was in there, kangaroo father Christmas. He's had a few accidents. I've had to glue them together a few times. I love him. And then, yep, yeah, there's my fairy that Jane from Fanny Adams made. I love her. She's very beautiful. Look at her fabric. Look, her um, dress, it's got ships on it. If you can hear funny snorting noise, it's Margot. She's beaten up a teddy bear, if you know what I mean. Trying to dominate it. Oh, and I must. Oh, hello. I must show you this. This is absolutely special and priceless. Bill made that. It's obviously a reindeer. Absolutely love him. So gorgeous. So you can go up there. And then I've got a couple of these here. Have I shown you these already? I think I filmed these yesterday.
blent too far forward. It looks like it's coming out of Joan Julian's chimney. <laughs> Look at the rainbow oh, bell. Man. Don't we all have a watering can on our worktop? Let's just move that out of shot. We're just cooking supper and then we're gonna all snuggle up together and watch Polar Express because that's what we do when we decorate the house for Christmas. I've put up a few more lights and decorations and things this afternoon. Wilf helped me. Um, and now I'm ready to go and sit down and do a bit of knitting with my family. Loving all the comments coming in on yesterday's vlog about the bus. So far, 277 individual comments. That blows my mind and everyone's just saying how fab it is and that they all you guys all got emotional too so that's just you're the best I still don't get why we're not having roast dinner Wilford doesn't get why we're not having roast dinner because it is Sunday but it's because we've got two more Sundays and then it's Christmas so we'll just save my cup roast yeah. dinner so that we love our Christmas dinner all the more I, I don't, why don't, why don't we have one this week and not have one next week? Well, it's too late now and I didn't have anything to roast. Oh. Will you forgive me? Maybe. Bye-bye. Love you. Go away.